Hey, hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. back. Today we'll be showing you guys how to make honey walnut shrimp. It is basically fried shrimp coated with creamy sauce paired with candied walnuts. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned throughout the video so we can show you how to make this easy, super delicious recipe. And this is our final product. And let's give it a taste test so everyone can see. Okay. Give me this. Oh yeah. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to everyone at home. Mmm. Mm. Wow. It's delicious. It's creamy. Mm -hmm. Savory. And you know what I gotta pick up? A walnut. <laughs> that we can't eat. Wow. That walnut is really sweet. Mmm. Like it's toasty. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. It goes well. Mm. Shrimp is crunchy and sweet. Wow. Magically delicious, y'all. <laughs> 10 out of 10? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. For all you shrimp lovers, mm -hmm. stay tuned and Make this recipe. Yep. Do your thing. Let's dive right in. <laughs> okay. One minute. Let's dive right in. <laughs> First, let's gather our ingredients. For the main ingredients, we'll need one pound of jumbo prawn, de veined and de shelled, one fourth teaspoon salt, one fourth teaspoon black pepper, one half cup walnuts. 2 tablespoons sugar and 2 tablespoons water. For the batter, we'll need 3 egg whites, 4 tablespoons all-purpose flour, 2 tablespoons cornstarch, and 2 teaspoons baking soda. To create the sauce, we'll need 4 tablespoons mayo, 1 tablespoon sweetened condensed milk, 2 teaspoons honey, and 1 teaspoon lemon juice. Optional ingredients will include sesame seeds and green onions. And as always, the specific measurements and ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. To begin, let's caramelize our walnuts. First, add them to the pan and roast them for about 3 minutes or so over medium heat. Next, add in 2 tablespoons water and 2 tablespoons sugar and stir and bring them to a simmer until it is thick like syrup. The water will eventually evaporate and become a glazed like. Once the walnuts are evenly coated, remove them from the pan and set them aside on parchment paper. Make sure they're all separated and not clumped together. Now, let's prepare our shrimp. What we have here is size 11-15 shrimp, which means there are 11 to 15 shrimp to a pound, and we have a pound of it. The shrimp we bought is already peeled and deveined for us. However, go ahead and butterfly the shrimp like so. Now, we'll add 1 4th teaspoon salt and 1 4th teaspoon black pepper to season the shrimp. Gently mix everything together and set them aside. Now for our batter to a mixing bowl. With three eggs whites until it's frothy. And to that, add four tablespoons all-purpose flour, two tablespoons cornstarch, and two teaspoons baking soda. Give this a good mix until you have a nice consistency like so. Now, Drop our shrimp into the batter and give this a good mix. Make sure each piece is evenly coated in the batter. Now, let's preheat our fryer to 350 degrees. 
and while we wait for our oil to reach the desired frying temperature, we'll prepare a very significant component of our honey walnut shrimp, the sauce. To the mixing bowl, add four tablespoons of Japanese Kewpie mayo, which is creamy and savory compared to American mayo. One tablespoon condensed milk, two teaspoon honey, and one teaspoon of lemon juice, which will add a little balance to the sauce. Give this a good mix until all the ingredients are incorporated together, and set this aside for later use after we fry our shrimp. Mm. Now it's time to fry. Make sure you shake off the excess and carefully place each battered shrimp into the fryer one at a time. Fry for about two to three minutes or until the shrimp become golden or crispy. Remember to fry them in batches so we don't overcrowd the fryer. Remove the shrimp and place them on a cooling rack to drain the excess. And because we want our shrimp to be extra crispy, we're going to fry them again at 375 degrees for another 60 seconds. This step is optional and totally up to you, but we highly recommend it for that extra Now, transfer the fried shrimp to a large bowl and generously drizzle your honey mayo sauce and give them a good mix or toss. You may add more honey mayo if you prefer your shrimp to be extra saucy. Finally, let's plate our shrimp. And voila! Done! Now, let's garnish it with sesame seeds and chopped green onions, which are both optional along with the candied walnuts. And there you have it, the best honey walnut shrimp ever. Isn't it beautiful, y'all? And personally, the best way to serve these shrimp is immediately and with a side of rice. I guarantee you every bite is going to be sweet, creamy, crunchy, savory, and just delicious. The perfect bite, oh yes. Be sure to give this simple and easy recipe a try because it's so, so, so good. And y'all, that's how you make honey walnut shrimp. <laughs> And if you like what you see today and you want to support us, please press the like and subscribe button and the bell button for future notifications when we release our new video. And let us know what you think about our recipe down in the comments below. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Peace. Peace.